एफ सी बायोलॉजी क्विक समरीज चैप्टर 21 वन कंप्लीट सेल साइकिल फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पी पी एस सी लेक्चरर एंड सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट जोलॉजी एंड बायोलॉजी इन दिस फुल चैप्टर रिव्यू वी शेल डिस्कस इंटरफेज कैरियोकानेस प्रोफेज टू टीलोफेज साइडोकानेस कैंसर म्योसिस वन प्रोफेज वन इन डिटेल एंड एरर्स इन माइटोमियोसिस लाइक सिंड्रोम्स एंड फाइनली नेक्रोसिस एंड एपोप्टोसिस अल्लाह सेज इन कुरान दैट मोहम्मद सल्लम travel through the land and observe how he began creation then allah will produce the final creation indeed allah over all things is competent surah al ankabut verse 20 let's start interface interface is divided into g1 gap 1 s synthesis and g2 phase gap 2 phases G1 is the period of extensive metabolic activities cell grows in size enzymes are synthesized DNA raw material is accumulated or gathered S phase is characterized by synthesis of DNA or commonly called replication of chromosomes G2 phase is characterized by energy storing for movement especially chromosomes mitosis specific proteins are synthesized RNA and microtubule synthesis occurs in G2 phase now all these phases in uh, with respect to their uh, important activities are very very important in humans average cell cycle takes 24 hours G1 spans about 9 hours S phase take about 10 hours G2 spans 4.5 hours and the remaining 30 minutes are for M phase so M phase require least time in yeast cell cycle takes only 90 minutes to completely divide nerve cells and eye lens cells remain in g0 phase throughout life and they do not divide when they are fully developed mitosis and karyokinesis mitosis can take place in both haploid and diploid cells mitosis is a continuous process but scientists have divided it into two phases karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis is the division of nucleus while cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm centrioles duplicated in interphase separate into two to start karyokinesis so the question may be asked that how karyokinesis is started or which event is responsible for the initiation of karyokinesis centrioles after separation moves to opposite poles to create bipolarity three sets of microtubules originate from centrioles called as mitotic operators one set is esters one is kinetochore spindle and one is polar spindle so these are the three sets which originate from uh, mitotic operators or constitute mitotic operators altogether kinetochore attach to chromosomes while polar microtubules attach to polar ones from opposite sides and they elongate microtubules are consisted of tubulin protein and traces of rna these traces of rna needs your attention prophase chromatin material get condensed by folding and chromosomes appear as thin threads of about 0.25 to 50 micrometer in length chromosome become visible at the end of prophase having two sister chromatids at end of prophase nuclear envelope disappear and nuclear material is released in the cytoplasm nucleoli also disappear mitotic operators organize on the opposite poles and spindles start joining the kinetochore cytoplasm becomes more viscous that is the unique or distinctive point please focus metaphase metaphase is characterized by formation of metaphase plate or equatorial plate chromosomes are more visible having prominent sister chromatids kinetochore spindles are attached with kinetochore proteins on centromere anaphase most critical phase of mitosis please remember kinetochore spindles contract and at the same time polar microtubules elongate which exert force to separate chromatids from centromere now please note the functions of spindle fibers as well as uh, polar microtubules chromosomes are maximum condensed 
at an office please uh, that mcq is very famous and uh, have already been asked many times that uh, the chromosomes are maximally condensed at which state so that is anaphase after reaching at terminals anaphase ends when chromosomes actually reach on terminals or uh, opposite poles uh, anaphase ends telophase chromosomes decondense due to unfolding and disappear as a chromatin mitotic apparatus disorganizes nuclear membrane and nucleolus reorganize telophase last uh, until two, two complete nuclei are formed cytokinesis astral microtubules send signal to equatorial region or central region of the cell actin and myosin proteins are activated in the center to form contractile ring followed by cleavage furrow plants do not have centrioles but spindles are still present or formed phragmoplast is formed from vesicles which originate from golgi complex and that mcq has already been asked in the past paper these vesicles are formed during metaphase and join to form plasma membrane also they contain precursors of cellulose and pectin for future cell wall now please remember uh, that uh, these vesicles are formed uh, during metaphase cancer the uncontrolled cell division cells which have lost the control on mitosis undergo continuous mitosis to generate number of unwanted cells this aggregation of cells is called tumor each tumor usually has clone of cells or all the cells in a single tumor are similar benign tumors are small sized and localized that that is they are present on the same location where they are formed they do not spread benign tumor cells are usually normal cells and have little deleterious effects while malignant tumor cells divide rapidly and invade tissues and circulatory system as well now this spread is termed as metastasis these cells are less differentiated than normal cells malignant cancer may result from three mutations up to 20 mutations in the genes which regulate or control cell division metastatic cells break barriers like basal lamina and proliferate unlimitedly and can reside in any other location to proliferate prophase 1 of meiosis 1 meiosis 1 is reduction division which reduce chromosome to one half so if you are asked that which of the two is actually the reduction division meiosis 1 or meiosis 2 the answer is meiosis 1 meiosis 2 is like mitosis which I have uh, already discussed previously interphase of meiosis lacks g2 phase another distinctive and important feature here the first phase of prophase 1 is leptotin chromosomes shorten become thick and become more visible nucleus increase in size and homologous chromosomes get closer to each other now these uh, uh, each feature are very very important uh, because they are very minute but and uh, they are also confusing if they are asked uh, uh, consecutively in the questions the second stage is zygotein In zygotene synapsis starts uh, which is pairing of homologs or homologous chromosomes pairing is very specific point to point but no definite starting point it the pairing can start uh, randomly at any point each paired structure is a bivalent having two chromosomes or tetrad having four chromatids pachytene synapsis completes in pachytin bivalents wrap around each other and non sister chromatids exchange their segments at chiasmata which is called crossing over so crossing over occurs in pachytin stage of prophase 1 reshuffling of genetic material produce recombination that's obvious one and also it can be asked that when the chromosomes are reshuffled in the meiosis pachytin may last even years as in humans diplotin paired chromosomes repel each other and start separating homologous chromosomes remain attached at chiasmata only 
डायाकाइनेसिस कंडेंसेशन रीच इज मैक्सिम एंड सेपरेशन कंप्लीट बट स्टिल दे आर यूनाइटेड एट द एंड न्यूक्लियोलाई डिसअपीयर एट द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ डायाकाइनेसिस मेटाफेज वन न्यूक्लियर मेमरेन डिसऑर्गेनाइज एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ मेटाफेज वन कैनाटोकोर स्पिंडल अटैच टू द कैनाटोकोर ऑफ होमोलोग्स और होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम्स होमोलोगस पेयर अलाइन एट सेंटर टू फॉर्म मेटाफेज प्लेट नो द वर्ड पेयर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड नीड योर अटेंशन ईच होमोलोग बिहेव एज यूनिट एना फेज वन इट इज एक्चुअली रिडक्शन फेज बिकॉज कंप्लीट क्रोमोसोम सेपरेट फ्राम पेयर एंड रीच पोल्स इंस्टेड ऑफ सिंगल क्रोमेटेड एज इन माइटोसिस सो If you are asked that meiosis one is a reduction division and in meiosis one, which stage is actually the reduction division? That is anaphase, telophase one. Nuclear membrane reorganize, nucleoli reappear to form two nuclei. Chromosomes may decondense at this stage, but that is not compulsory. Meiosis two. In interphase of meiosis 2 there is no replication of chromosomes because they are already duplicated all the phases are similar to mitosis cytokinesis finally result into four haploid cells with half number of chromosomes crossing over and random assortment of chromosomes are the two significant happenings of meiosis at anaphase random separation of homologs produce wide variety of gametes brother and sisters are little bit different from each other due to these phenomena and you know parents are same mother and father are same but uh, brothers are different sisters are different that difference uh, uh, in the genotypes and the phenotypes is due to crossing over and uh, uh, assortments Further, it provides raw material for evolution. So, which type of cell division provide raw material for evolution? That is meiosis. Meiotic errors. Non-disjunction is failure of chromosome to separate during anaphase and telophase, resulting in unequal distribution of chromosome. No non-disjunction. Junction is the joint. disjunction is the opening of that joint non disjunction is the improper opening or separation of that joint this result into serious physical mental and social disorders three most prominent disorders due to abnormal separation are down syndrome klinefelter syndrome and turner syndrome let's discuss each of these syndrome in detail down syndrome it is an autosomal non disjunction it is not related with the x or y chromosome 21st pair of chromosome fails to segregate which result in a gamete with 24 chromosomes the other 22 chromosome will be a polar body definitely after fertilization individual will have 47 chromosomes 2n plus 1 it appears to occur in ova and related to age of mother it may occur one in thousands in the teenage mothers one in hundreds in the 40 age mothers and by 45 risk is three times greater autosomal non disjunction may occur in other chromosomes but result in abortion usually or death in early age now down syndrome may result in the following effects or symptoms flat feet broad face squint eyes squint eyes mean one eye is focused on left side while the second eye focus on right side they are not focused uh, properly at one point protruding tongue mental retardation and defective central nervous system now these symptoms are uh, not asked usually in the exam because they are mixed with each other with other diseases or disorders but uh, still they are important klinefelter syndrome individuals have additional sex chromosomes as x x y they are phenotypically male but have frequently enlarged breast tendency to tallness obesity small testicles with no sperms at ejaculation and underdeveloped secondary characters males may have x x y x x x y and x y y are also observed in the klinefelter syndrome turner syndrome 
X chromosome is missing in Turner syndrome. That is the simple and unique definition. They do not survive pregnancy and are aborted. And who survive have female appearance, short stature, webbed neck, and no ovaries. Now let's compare all the, the famous uh, syndromes with each other with respect to their three basic features: names and uh, kind of uh, male or female and on which chromosome they occur down syndrome it occurs both in males and females and it occur at trisomy 21 so it is an autosomal patau syndrome patau syndrome also occur in both males and females and that is the trisomy of chromosome number 13 please remember 21 and 13 Edward syndrome it also occur in males and females both and that is the trisomy of chromosome number 18 now please remember that uh, the trisomy 21 13 18 these are very very important with respect to the exam and you must link these chromosome numbers with the syndromes next one is turner syndrome which occur only in females and uh, the y chromosome is definitely missing uh, sorry one x chromosome is uh, missing that's why x0 because in normal females xx are present meta females definitely as the name suggest occur in females and the combination of the chromosomes may be triple x or uh, tetral x x x x x etc these are the conditions of meta females klein felter syndrome may occur only in males and the combination is xxy or xxxy please remember all these combinations jacobs syndrome occur only in males as well and the combination may be xyy and it is the most rare syndrome that's why nothing much is known about jacobs syndrome whether it is xyy or not now this table uh, summarizes all the important things which you need for the exam please uh, pause the video and revise once again then move forward apoptosis and necrosis program of events and sequence of morphological changes by which cell commit suicide is collectively called as apoptosis suicide mean death for example tail of developing human embryo and tissue between digits undergo apoptosis during development most of neurons also die during development of human cell may commit suicide by absence of survival signals or killing signals from others while apoptosis uh, dying cells shrink releasing apoptotic uh, bodies or blebs intracellular constituents are not released freely during apoptosis because it is a programmed cell death and if those particles are released they are dangerous cell death due to tissue damage is called necrosis cell swells and burst releasing intracellular contents which cause inflammations so that is uh, about apoptosis and necros necrosis as discussed in the textbook the next chapter will be of uh, chapter 22 variation and genetics and uh, i guess uh, the most longest chapter in the uh, part 2 and we shall divide hopefully in uh, two portions inshallah to watch other chapters uh, check the playlist or uh, description and do not miss the upcoming video because the it is the most important chapter of the part 2 variation and genetics thank you so much for being with me stay blessed stay prepared stay happy allah hafiz